Okay, now we're going to move to the bottom of the wing. Bottom of the wing is basically flat, so we're not so worried about scalloping. First thing you want to do is lay it out. You want to get your, your strut fittings uh, cut. And we want them as tight as we can. We don't want any, any bags in the fabric if we can help it in there when it's laying in. So we've gone in, we've measured, we've cut, we've laid it down. We haven't trimmed anything yet. But it's all stuck down into here. We're going to go ahead and glue the fittings first. And then we're going to work out and we're going to glue the center part of all of our inspection covers and just start working toward the edge. We also got jury strut fittings here that we've poked through. We got them. We'll, we'll glue those. On a, that's another hard point. But we're not going to worry about finishing any of the fabric in the middle of this because we can always. If we get in a jam and we get our, um, our inspection covers all glued down, then we can always take a small wrinkle out if we have to with, a lot, with an iron at like 250 degrees so that we don't put a whole bunch of tension on this fabric. We're just trying to get it just as nice and smooth. We don't want any big ripples or anything in it. And uh, so we're just going to start with that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to finish up gluing and attaching the fabric right around these strut fittings and then we'll start in on uh, inspection covers and I'll show you how we do them when we get to that point. Alright, we're going to do a, uh, an inspection cover opening here and what I like to do is take my iron at 220 before I do anything else and we're working on just putting a crease into this fabric on the inside of the ring. And I just, I want to crease right up into the, uh, the corner of the inside of the ring. Yesterday, I sealed the bottom of this wing with our EcoBond and diluted. And so it's got a little bit of a glue to stick to with some heat. We don't want to shrink the fabric. We just want to warm that glue up and and uh, give it a little tiny bit of a bond and then we're going to go ahead and, and uh, we'll bring in the rest of the glue and um, I've got a diluted glue, 10% diluted that I'm using and once we've done that hopefully it's still visible I'm just taking a, a one inch brush just laying that and filling that pocket, that corner of that, that uh, fabric to uh, inspection ring. And I'm just coming on and around with it. I don't want it all over on top of the ring or anything yet. I just want it into the corner so that it bonds real well into there. And we're going to leave it, just let it do its thing and, and dry up. And then we'll come back and finish it off a little later. Brush it through the middle. A little bit of a bubble there, but I don't care. I can always fix that later with an iron because our glue will thermal soften. Just take a dry shop towel here and just pat it down a little bit. That's what we're going to stop at at this point. So we've got this anchored. Now we're going to work our way out on both sides and both, both ends. So. Okay, so we got. This is our, our finished product that we're looking for. What we're doing is, I'm, I'm at 230 degrees on my iron. I'm just coming around. I came around the top of this, just took any little wrinkles out. I take the tip of my iron now and just run it around the edge, the outside edge of the inspection ring. And I'm just laying it down and letting it stick into that glue out there. This is the same way I do a doily on a wing, if I'm not double covering. I just lay this all down, get it all nice and flat. I got a nice crease in there. If you don't have that crease, your inspection covers won't stay. They'll be wandering around all the time. That's not a good thing. So we're just going to come in there with that. I'm just working the tip of the iron in. 230 won't really shrink the fabric much. It'll give it a little tension, but that's about it. 
I'm just going to work it down in here where I see it's not quite down hard. All right. At that point, I'm going to go get a little glue. I'm just coming around the top. All I care about, and I'm just going to brush it around and I can watch on the edge. It works right down and fills the little pocket there on the edge of the, of the uh, inspection ring, on the outside of that inspection ring. That's all we want to do, just like this. I don't want to work it any further than I have to right now. A little bit of extra time here will save you a lot of time in the, in the long run. So we're just going to be nice and patient. Let this thing glue in. And then we'll go to the next one over. Right straight across. Once we get all these hard points glued in. Then we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll start working outward with our, uh, with our double cover. But this is dead center in the wing, and this is where I got to start. So we'll give that a few minutes, and, and uh, I'm doing a little touch up on the strut fitting here, making sure I got a real good bond all the way around it. So the next we'll do are these two. There we go. It's got two covers. I'm just going to take it right around. I'm just going to do one at a time. Just bringing that fabric down snug on top. There's a little glue on top of this from, from when I sealed it in. So we're into a bed of, of dried glue which will reactivate with the heat. Just the tip of my iron. Work that down in. And just make everything nice and smooth and snug. No big hurries. Good sharp edge off of that inspection ring. Don't worry about this stuff later. If you get too hot, it ain't going to help you. You, got, you can't get in a hurry on this stuff. It just, you just got to take your time and be a little bit patient. You can go back over it later, touch things up, but we don't want to get too carried away in the meanwhile. Got that much done. Just a little bit of a ripple there. of the paint out of my brush here, my little foam brush. I like a foam brush for these because I can force the glue down in a little better. I got a little bit more control than I do with a bristle, I think. But that's me. It's whatever works for you. I'm just going to continue right around just doing the same thing. You can, you can just watch that glue go right down in and it falls right down into that Crease there and just stays. That's a good deal. That's what we want. Just like that. We'll do one more here. Just going to bring that in. Start in on this crease right away and just let this little tiny bit of tension on it from the shrinkage but I'm at 230 degrees I wouldn't go any hotter than that if you go 250 there's a good chance you'll get it to bridge this gap and you'll never get it real nice and snug that's one of the things we really want is nice and snug in that gap and we don't want it to shrink a bunch anywhere else so a little bit of patience Break it down nice and snug. 
Some people work at a lot higher temperature and they got to move fast. And that works until it doesn't. This one's taking just a little bit of extra ironing. It's not a big deal, I just want to get it right now. Because if it isn't right this time, when I'm done, then it isn't going to ever be right. That ain't going to be good. A little work right now will save us a lot of work down the road. most of the glue out of this brush and right back in I'm just going to give it enough to fill it down in if you're real artistic this is a lot better I'm not anymore There we go.